at this time, if we could have the uh, children come up uh, for our children's message. Well, good morning, everyone. How are we doing? Good. Now, raise your hand if you've ever been on a vacation. Raise your hand. Yeah, Ellie, if so, we did. You did. <laughs> we do not leave you at home. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, our, our title today for our children's message is leaving, 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 leaving. Now, where have you left to? What vacation spot have you gone to? Anyone know? Um, I went to Catalina and I went to Disney and Paris. Catalina, oh, the good old Express, right? Catalina Express, that's right. Paris thing, very cool. Anyone else? Where else have you gone? Anyone? There, that's cool. Great Wolf Lodge, right? Anyone else? I know you went somewhere. I know for us, we've, uh, for my kids, uh, we've been to Korea before, right? That was a good vacation. Or went to Colorado. That's another place. Um, I know, Ramona, you've been to probably a lot of places, right, with your family. Very good. Very good. But, you know, when we talk about leaving, we're, we're always going somewhere, and it's an exciting time. Now, when you go, um, well, on a vacation, and you see this what do you, where do you see this? What is that, by the way? Airport. Airport. Airplane. Now, what is, when you see this sign, uh, what does it mean? You're going on an airplane. Yeah, you're going on an airplane. And, you know, when, the next time you go to the airport, uh, this sign is called departure. Departure, right? We are leaving. The fl- you see the plane? It's going, is it going up or down? Uh, up. up, right? So it's, it, it means that it's going... <laughs> away right so when we talk about an airplane that is going away you know when we go to the when we go to the airport we're going somewhere right on a vacation to see our family or whatever it may be we're going somewhere to get to another place or city or whatever you want to call it now today moses and elijah are also talking about this whole idea of leaving that jesus is to leave is is Jesus going to Orlando? No. To Walt Disney World? Is he? No. Is Jesus going to um, uh, Europe? No. Is he? Where, where is Jesus? What are they talking about? When, where is Jesus leaving to? Is he, going on a, is he going on the Catalina Express to go parasailing? No. no, right? You know, when we talk about Jesus leaving, he's leaving to the cross. There's no vacation there. That's where Jesus dies for you and endures the most painful death that anyone can ever imagine, that he's leaving for you. Does that make sense? He's going away so that he could save you from your sin. This is what Jesus is doing. And when we think about Jesus and what he has done for us, we always thank the Lord of his leaving. Because without his leaving to the cross, where would we be? We'd still be stuck in our sin. And that is a great, terrifying thought. But Jesus, by his love, leaves us. But he doesn't leave us because, well, well, he goes to that place where he dies for us. And three days later, he rises for us so that you may have life. So remember that this day, you guys. Jesus leaves. But not because he doesn't like you, but because he loves you. That there he goes to leave to die on the cross for your sins, to forgive all of your sins and give give you life. Let us pray. Let us pray. Uh, Dearly Father, we uh, thank you for your grace, O Lord, uh, that you continue to give us by your very promise. Lord, bless these children to trust in Christ, to trust in what you have done for them. May your spirit guide them in this light. May you give them the great joy, knowing full well that all of their sins are forgiven and washed away by the blood of the Lamb, our Savior Jesus. We thank you, O Lord, for your work. And we pray that by your work, um, you give us the peace, knowing that we have been set free. For all these things we are thankful. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.